Well, it's all the buzz at one local brewery. Have you heard about this? A giant beehive found behind a collapsed wall. Penn Brewery knew the bees were there, but as Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Amber Nakotra found out, moving them is no easy task. These bees are all the buzz. Moving them, though, is no small task. Quite a few bees. That, that colony is probably about five feet in length, uh, maybe a little more than that. Master beekeeper Stephen Rapaski says preparing to move them takes a while. We want to make sure that we take our time. We have a modified shot back. We're able to remove and suction off the bees from the comb. Get him into a contained box. Although he suits up, he says honeybees are unlike yellow jackets that sting as he holds this one in his hand. But today they were a little upset as he says he cuts the comb and prepares for the transfer. A little testy, yeah, and that's, that's understandable. You know, typically honeybees are very docile, and these were docile as well, but because of the wall having been exposed, you know, taken down and exposing their colony, it would be no different if we knocked down three walls of your house. Stephen plans to put the combs in the frame of a beehive at one of his sites, a task he says that will likely take most of the morning. They're defending their hive because I'm right there. When I come down the ladder, there weren't any bees following me. There's none buzzing around right now. So that's a good indicator that they're a real gentle colony. And Stephen says he plans to move the bees to an out yard in Sewickley. There he will watch them and observe them for a couple of months. He says he then plans to hopefully move them back into the city. In Troy Hill, I'm Amber Nicotra, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.